so we're back in my um, backyard, not at my parents anymore. Um, so we brought a canoe back, and what we're gonna do now is um, just work on the other side. There's a whole lot of bumps where it fell, um, and um, a whole lot of um, problem areas in the gel cut. Um, so what we basically do is use a grinder um, with a sanding pad, grind that back, and open this up over here. And um, then we're gonna do the same as we basically did on the other side pull that up with chop strand and then I'm just going to put a layer of, um, of woven um, fiberglass on. Sometimes just to get the rough edges off, uh, just use a normal sanding blade. It's quite easy. Um, all you do is you just cut the area. Um, all that, that does is actually just flatten all the high spots and makes it easier for sanding and um, you don't clog up so much of your sanding paper. So yeah, it's actually a very quite efficient tool. So once you've knocked most of it off, um, I'll just use a nice broad little block. Hey guys, so uh, I've gone ahead and fed the whole boat with some nice 80 grit. Um, well not the whole boat, just the areas that um, I've um, patched up um, just to get it fair um, and see where I maybe need to touch it up um, in a few um, places with a little bit of a thickened um, polyester resin. So yeah, the wind is quite bad today so I apologize for the sound. Um, what we are going to do then is after we've done that, we are going to strengthen the stem of the boat um, along here with a little bit of um, fiberglass we can just put up over, over here. I think it's a two ounce I'm going to use. Um, that will just strengthen up again and then, um, then we're going to basically just sand the boat down to 120, 180 grit and then we are going to paint the boat. So yeah, um, it should be pretty bad.
reason is clear that I'm ready for finals. I'm fearing of a boat. Um, I'm not going to use a longboard. I'm using a little bit of a foam piece. Um, it's actually those um, sponge sandpaper. But I've, I've seen over the years that um, this doesn't keep very well, so it's very expensive and I've cost effective to use this uh, while sanding a boat. So what I do is I cover this, I cut this up and then I cover the block in 100 grid um, just for initial fairing and um, that saves you a lot of money and um, the block is nice and soft. Um, the reason I'm not using a longboard though is um, because I want something that can conform to the curvature of a boat as uh, the canoe um, has got a lot of curves and um, um, bends in it so a longboard would just um, take off all some of the highest not the high spots but um, on the curvature will flatten it out and you don't want that so using a block you get that uh, the pressure is much more even and that you can fare that out nicely Okay guys, so I'm going to paint the canoe now. I'm going to use a method called roller tip. So you'll use a roller, very easy. You'll roll the area and then you'll just lightly tip it with a brush and then the paint should fill it in so that you get a high gloss finish. So in between coats, um, I like to just use a little bit of um, fine steel wool that you can get at a hardware shop. I think it's 14 rand a pack and you'll go through one pack or two packs um, for all the um, three coats that you're going to do. Um, so this is just basically to scuff the um, paint surface, um, take out any little dust particles or, or as I did the first coat outside, um, the little flies that was in there um, that landed on the paint job while it was getting hot. And obviously just um, preparing the surface so that you can get a better um, um, connection between the two layers of paint. Um, yeah, better chemical bond. After I've done the wood steel wall, I'll just clean it again with a nice damp rag. I'm not going to use acetone again. And uh, then use a little tack cloth. Um, you can buy those as well as uh, cloth just to get the last particles off. And then I'll roll it and tip again. I'm not doing this outside again. Um, the wind has picked up immensely outside, and um, yeah, due to the wind, um, I felt that I was rushing to get it done, and um, the first go didn't go on that ball as I planned. Okay, just. <laughs> 